COVID-19 vaccinations have already started in several countries. However, the questions on the variants and mutation of the virus still continues to arise. You're watching TV9 News, I'm Prajwal Disoza and today let's talk about an escape mutation found in COVID-19. Since the pandemic began, there have been several doubts regarding mutations and variants in the SARS-CoV-2 CoV-2. Scientists have now found an escape mutant that might decrease the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines. So what have the scientists claimed? The scientists have now identified a mutation called E484K in the South African variant of COVID-19 which has now spread over to 12 other countries. The mutant has also been found in the Brazilian variant of SARS-CoV-2. Scientists claim that escape mutation is alarming. Why? Because it has the ability to escape antibodies produced by the vaccine. However, the scientists who are studying the escape mutation have to still complete their research on whether the mutation will affect the vaccines. So, should you be worried? To tell you, I am joined by immunologist Dr. Sitesh Roy. Dr. Roy, what is an escape mutation and why are some of the scientists sounding an alarm? So, Prajwal, an escape mutation is basically where a variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus uh, that is in circulation is able to avoid the trapping that antibodies have been that had been developed either through vaccination or through an infection in the person's body. Uh, when it's able to evade that, that's called an escaping mutation or an escaping mutant. The reason why people are concerned is very obvious. In case someone gets vaccinated and whatever antibodies they have developed as a consequence of that vaccination, if it is unable to trap and opsonize the viral particles which then leads to their killing or removal from the system, it would mean that that vaccine would be ineffective. Will the escape mutation affect the efficacy of the vaccines? But for the E484K mutant which is from South Africa, it does seem like the vaccine uh, antibodies might not be able to trap it or opsonize it as well as it does with the existing SARS-CoV-2 variants. But this is truly an area of research that is being studied further. Isn't mutation a normal course of action in viruses? If that is the case, why should people be worried? It is very natural that a virus in its evolution, it wants to infect more people and it wants to successfully infect more people. So it will vary and change itself so that it can escape the defense mechanisms that humans are developing. So on one hand, humans develop the escape me the, the defense mechanism and the virus develops its escape mechanism to beat that defense mechanism. So this is a very long-standing game that many viruses and the most common virus that has been very smart at doing this has been the HIV virus, the human immunodeficiency virus. That is why we still don't have a vaccine against it. Well, some scientists have said that coronavirus was always considered as stable. Is it true or are the mutations expected from the coronavirus? So in general, the coronavirus as a group has not been a fast mutator. We have had uh, the common cold causing coronaviruses, OC43, uh, HKU1, that have been around since the 60s and they have hardly changed. They do change some. Uh, However, I think that what we have seen in this pandemic with SARS-CoV-2 is that this coronavirus is not behaving like SARS or MERS. It has many new features and many new uh, adaptations that we are seeing in this virus. And so I think this is somewhere between a very rapidly mutating and varying virus like HIV and one that never varies or mutates like smallpox. Well, one thing is clear, there are minuscule chances that an escape mutation will affect the efficacy of the vaccines. So right now, there is no need to be alarmed. However, it is still important to wear a mask and maintain a social distance and follow other safety protocols. 
So if you like this video, do click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to TV9 News on all the social media platforms. Thank you for watching and have a great day.